Hello, welcome back to my channel. This is Home Moves with Ida Jane. I'm Ida Jane, and today I was going to be doing the City series, but Netflix. I cannot get my screen recorder to work. So, I'm back today with Lake Placid. I'm sure I want to say most people know what Lake Placid is, but honestly, I don't know. I know. Like, half my friends, when I say Lake Placid, they know what I mean. The other half's like, what are you talking about? It's basically a movie from the 90s who had so many subsequent stories about, I think it's crocodiles in the lake. I have not seen it since I was a child when I watched it on the Sci-Fi channel. I just remember loving it, though. And I thought of it recently. And so I decided, why not react to it? So I'll be reacting to Lake Placid this week. Hopefully I can get in cities working some other week. If not, I'm just going to run through the whole Lake Placid series. And I hope you join me on that adventure. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment if you want more. Okay, let's finally get started. I can just say that I do not like open bodies of water. I don't know if it's because I watch movies like this as a child, but I have just always had a fear of... I was a child who, like, I would not go into the deep end when we were learning how to swim. And that was in a pool. Now imagine me in, like, something like this. No, thank you. I would... I don't go into lakes. I don't go into oceans. I don't go into streams or rivers that I cannot see the bottom of. There is really no practical reason. Because I know... It's unlikely anything's going to happen, but still, no thank you. What is he even doing down there? I, I'm guessing that's a beaver's nest. I don't know if this music is actually indicative of anything or if it's just for... <gasps> oh no! Come on, just a little bit more. Just enough to, like, make a sound. Oh, no. I did not realize. But also, like, what can... It's like, what can he do? But also, you can do a hell of a lot more than just get a paddle. Help him! <gasps> oh, he he's dead. Oh my god, that's one way to start a movie. Oh my god. Okay. Okay. Like, that's fine. Nope. Okay. Yeah, you only have half of him. No. I made him that way. He came out and I was like, not scary enough. Let's just chop, chop, chop. Some guy got killed by something in a lake. Probably a bear, but they found a tooth. Did they say they think a bear killed this man? Because bears don't do that. Bears don't... Oh, yes! I killed him! What? You killed him? Oh, yes! What? Uh, and That's how funny. would you have accomplished this, man? Well, he was very sick, and, and he refused to go to a doctor. Oh. He'd be coherent oh, one day and incoherent the next. And Well, one coherent day, he asked me to end his suffering. And he had kept insisting oh, and so insisting. Like and then assisted well, suicide. Finally, I just okay. gave in. And I hit him on the head with a skillet. What? Well, buried him under the ball kid. What? Well, dig him up if you don't believe me. 
That, Sherlock? That story was a ride from beginning to end. Husband got sick, then go to the hospital with in and out of coherency, kept asking her to kill him, and she eventually decided to by bashing his head in with a skillet. Somebody said that name was taken. Okay. It's too bad. As much as I don't like open water, I'm actually okay with camping somewhat. I hate camping solely for the bugs. Everything else is fine. Dirt, I'm fine with. Uh, yeah, like dirt, I'm fine with. Not bathing, any of that stuff, I'm fine with. What I'm not fine with is the bugs. Some bugs, like, I can deal with ants, fine, whatever. But spiders? Why are you here? Wasps? The museum doesn't send an investigator. Those icky bugs that you're like, I've never seen you before. I didn't even know you existed. No. I wish I knew where crocodiles normally are, so I could know the crocodile could be in Maine. No, yeah, crocodiles are southern. They are cold blooded, so they need to be. No, there are also snakes in Maine. What am I even? I'm just babbling. Are they feeding? They aren't feeding. They're scared. Oh no. <gasps> oh, Jesus. oh my god, what the f This does not waste time in hyping stuff up. Oh my god. First you see a bunch of fish scared and all of a sudden this woman goes flying like she's in the Olympics. One of the divers was just caught. One of the divers was just caught. Oh no, it's the anchor. Someone has the anchor. I will say the good thing about someone having the anchor is that it means that it's not going towards her. It doesn't mean that anymore though. Mm. But those fish... I don't know how much I've showed you before, but those fish basically show that they're scared of something. If you see those fish, it's because they're huddling together because something has them scared. I know, I'd be like, get me out of the water right now. <gasps> oh, Hector's gonna die. Because I know someone has to die on this mission. This is a very short movie. Also, I think it's in bad form to move with... I don't know if this is true or not. Someone tell me down below. But I feel like it's bad form when someone's diving to move your boat. Because they could easily... Got hit, hit, get hit by your engine, right? Oh. My. God. Yeah. Oh my god. Like, honestly, I did not think that guy would last. Because he was just wearing extra with all the talking actors, but I did not think his head would be taken off that cleanly or quickly. Actually, I think head taking off would be the Oh my god! Oh yeah, she's traumatized. I would be traumatized too. Yeah. Like, that would scar me for the rest of my life. <laughs> I, I could probably cut him down, but there's this odd look at Man. Him he's upside down These face. sheriffs are just trying to do their jobs, and this rich guy just came in and is effing all of it up. Why is there all of a sudden a bear? What is a bear suddenly doing here?
I swear, I've not had this many jaw-dropping moments in a movie ever. Well, now I know why that bear was there, but oh my god. That was a giant crocodile. He's an oh my god. Scales were oval. He's an Asian crocodile. Why, why would he come here? It's impossible. Asian. Oh my god. No, I'm, I just keep on saying, oh my god. It's just like... Seeing a crocodile big enough to eat a, just a live, healthy bear. Oh, you gonna blow away now? So this alligator is like thirty feet. How big is? What's something thirty feet that I can think of? Like how many feet are in a block? Like a kid, thirty feet. Okay, I'm, I'm just gonna assume very big. I'm very bad with. I'm very bad with, I guess, imagining like length. I'm very bad with numbers in terms of length and height. So you say 30 feet, and I'm just like, okay, that means nothing to me. Oh, she's feeding them. What is she doing? Oh my god. Look ten feet into the water. That's a huge ass. She's feeding the crocodile. The crocodile's her pet. Which, you know, that's a great, that is kind of a great pet to have. That is kind of a great pet to have. Who's going to attack you knowing that thing is defending you? The crocodile is going to be near him. Oh, I don't like this at all. Can he sense the crocodile? <laughs> I'd be crying. I would be crying. Oh my god. I would be I will I will admit it, I probably would have peed my pants. And I feel like I should not be ashamed of that. Because a 30 foot crocodile, you just turn around and it's just staring at you, knowing it is in charge. And you are just trying to slowly swim away and hope that it just continues to try to scare you and not. Oh, no. Like, how is he going to even get out of the water? Don't. It's going to get... Oh. Oh, my God. Is it going to scare him? Is it going to... I don't know what you do at a point like this. How do you even get out? Of course it's gonna... How does it even get the momentum to... No, bad crocodile. Okay. This is just a wild movie and I love it so much. What's she doing now? She's trying to fly. <laughs> I feel so bad for that cow. Like I hate scenes in movies like this. I know like cows are so, it's just if you've ever been around a cow, they are so cute and they're so sweet. They're like, I don't want to say big dogs because those are pigs. Cows are not the smartest. Well, we tried. 
I don't know how to. But cows are just so sweet and so cute. No, she's floating. She looks like a giant tea bag. Uh. <laughs> oh, she does look like a tea bag. Oh, I already see the problem that's gonna come when it, the crocodile bit even part of the helicopter that almost brought it down. If the heli, if the, if the. If the crocodile bites the cow, depending on how strong that rope is, it might be able to bring the bring the helicopter down. What the How did that even crash? I think because of just the force of the water. Going up from the crocodile jump. Okay, no. Why would the crocodile? Why? No, I have no idea how this would happen. Also, where's the cow? Nope. Hector, you had one job not to get back in the water, and you decide to get back in the water. I know he didn't decide to, but. He he slow he got out of his helicopter enough to fall back into the water. Ooh. Girl, run. She does not make the best of decisions. Including staying when she finds out there's a girl. No, get out of the water. Kelly, 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 Kelly. That. Why would she have her go in there too? I don't know. We can't see him. It's never good when you lose a 30 foot croc. No! No, 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 look, he's trapped! We did it! We did it! So what? It's not a net, but, but, but he's trapped! Mission accomplished! They did want to trap him. He's half dead! He's half alive! Shoot him! Aww. Oh. He is. No, yeah. Unfortunately, I would say shoot him. Even though he's trapped. The tracks are kicking in. It's just, just me, but I would still I'd give him just like a tet like a tiny bit more. I'm not a vet or anything, but I'm like, I just do not trust that the drugs you gave him is enough. I know for a fact he's just gonna wake up and just like chomp chomp on someone. We don't have to destroy him, god damn it, look at him! How are you going to get him out of the water, though? And how long is he going to be tranquilized? He's you seem to think you have... Come on, Jack, he's trapped. Look at him, he can't move. You seem to think you have the equipment to take this... Oh. Oh, okay. I just so shot him, though. That's just me. Because you don't really have the equipment to take the... What? There's a second one? You think there's two? There's definitely two. If one... No, yeah. I guess I... I guess everyone got their wish then. Go ahead. Black they killed a crocodile and they tranked and kept a crocodile. Equality. But seriously. Oh, <laughs> Just in time. Nice to see ya. Oh, so I, what I was kept on trying to say before I kept on forgetting or got get interrupted is that they don't have the equipment to take that crocodile anywhere, anywhere now that's tranquilized. But now that, like, 
the forest and game commissions there. I forget what they're called. They might be able to help him. Help with that. Oh! The cow lived! Don't know where it came from, but it lived. Yay. All this because the guy she... All this happened to her because the guy she's sleeping with found a new girl to sleep with and shipped her off so it wouldn't be awkward. Come on, get your supper. Nibble mommy's toes. Yes. <laughs> oh my god! They're baby crocodiles! Oh my god! <laughs> they're baby crocodiles! Oh. oh, I knew that there were other Lake Placids, so I guess I should have assumed that there would be more crocodiles, because one died, one got shipped off. But, oh my god. <laughs> well, that was Lake Placid. I forgot how, okay, I think I cut out most of the funny parts, because all I did was laugh. I did not say anything. I just found fun parts to be hilarious, but this is actually a lot funnier than I remember. <laughs> Oh my god, this is actually just a very cute movie. I'm sad. I think it didn't make that much of the box office, which is why there was like a seven-year gap between the first one and the second one. Um, but honestly, I think, yeah, I see why it became a cult classic. It is so funny, and it plays something so ridiculous, so serious. It's like the opposite of Sharknado, which plays something so ridiculous up so much. This one's like, no, yeah, we have a 30 cook crop. We're going to treat it as seriously as we can. And they pulled it off so well. So I will see you guys next week. I honestly just do not. I'm just going to stop saying what I'm going to do the next week because I feel like half the time when I do, I just, that's not what I do. And I just don't want to get caught in another situation where I can't get my screen recorder to work for some reason. So I will see you guys next week for another reaction. Don't, again, do not forget to like and subscribe, please. It really helps the channel. And also comment. You can actually comment what you would like me to do. Because I might take some of those suggestions just to see if there are movies out there that I don't know about that are hidden gems. Hidden gems in the good way or hidden gems in the bad way. Either way, I will see you then.